Hello students, in our previous video we saw how we can input through float and double data types. Look, we have made two variables L and B and the same way L1 and B1. L1 and B1 are double data types and L and B are float. What is the difference between them? we saw in our last video the only difference is of course the difference the float data type like four bytes where the double take eight bytes and therefore the range of float and double is uh, it's a, there's a lot of difference between the ranges that we have already seen in our previous previous videos and another difference you'll find with float and double is in the precision Precision means the accuracy or the number of digits after decimal point. The float data type has lower number of digits after decimal point, whereas double data type has higher number of digits after decimal, and thus it produces more accurate results. So these things we have already seen. So today in our this class, we'll see how we can input other data types so let us make these things comments so that we could Make the program smaller. So this is the curly brace for main function. This is the curly brace for is out or absent out of the block. These codes are all already there. Whenever we wish to use them, we can use them. Right now they are not part of program. So yes, this line will be always there if you want to input. Now we'll see how we can input strings, and then we'll see how we can input. Uh, characters so first let us make a string variable name one name two name three why I have made three variables? Just casually, we have made three variables. We'll input three things. In first round, we'll learn how we can input words, single words. Okay. Then we'll see how we can input a complete line. So it's quite easy. As it has been told to you earlier that whenever you want to input then first a message should be there which will let the user know what he has to input so before using any input statement there should be a message using this that yes whatever he has to input so here i would like to input like this enter first name Look, suppose what is first name, middle name, last name, you know it. Suppose if somebody's name is Amit Kumar Verma, suppose. Then Amit is the first name, Kumar is the middle name, Verma is the last name. So enter first name. This is a message. Now what? I want first name in nm1 variable. In dot next just next this next stands for inputting only one single word now the same way output enter middle name and let us keep middle name in nm2 in the same way enter last name and let us keep it in nm3 the same thing is happening with the, the variables. They are making a space and uh, 
things will get stored in them. And let us finally output nm1 plus nm2 plus nm3. Save it. Let us have a light overview of this program. First, import. I've told you that it is important if you have to input. If you'll not write this line, you'll not be able to use this or use these functions. Uh, what is the reason behind? I'll tell you. So before inputting, we must create variables of whichever type we want to input. Then a good message that will let the user know that what he has to input and then actually the input. So next is a function in earlier class classes we saw next int was there and next long next by list plot next table was there but in order to input a word single word we have just next single word single word let us once execute this first save this control s and then compile it Compiling, no error. Enter first name. Suppose any name, Amit. Enter middle name, Kumar. Enter last name. Look, full name. NM1 plus NM2 plus NM3. Amit Kumar Varma. All together. But sir, there should be space. Of course, a space should be there. But we we are the one who is responsible Programmer is the one who is responsible for all such outputs. So, of course, put a space with a plus. Look, these things happens when we are using a strings. Huh? So we have to take care that we have to put a space also in between all these variables. We have seen the first version of the output. Let us see, first compile it since we have made a change and then Now we have a single space in between them. We could have done this uh, in a different way also. How we could have done this? Let us reset, save it, and see it again. All together. Let us run it again. Amit, then a space. Kumar, then a space. Space. Look, giving a space is not working. I'll tell you the reason. These are space, comma, these are the tokens. So I'll tell you more about that, but this will not work. So if you are using next, then we have to give a space in between to separate okay so this is how uh, you have to work with the strings now this is working so this is how we can input a single word now you might be wondering what will happen if you'll write more than one word. Let us see this. Look, dear students, when it asked for the first name, I entered two names. A space decides that there are two words. First one is Monu, second one is. And you can see that this message is only there, enter middle name. But this didn't work. This didn't work means the cursor didn't stop for this. 
and finally this line came and it is asking for the third name the last name what happened so dear students please try to understand what i'm trying to tell you look at the function next why the next in the name next is the name because of few things which is related with the string look when we write two names no this goes to the first variable and this becomes the next uh, token this become the next token and this will go to the next variable and therefore it automatically went to this yes it automatically went the next function reads the next token this is the first this is the next word and this is how it works uh, it might be little confusing but uh, with the time you'll understand what i'm trying to tell let us write a complete name look the first word goes to the first variable this next function another next function next stands for the next word the next word so we have already entered three words no so the next function automatically is taking uh, this word to here and another next word that word to variable third and uh, look at the output so as i said that uh, this might be little confusing but uh, once you will understand there will be no confusion and if you have problem in understanding this since you are just initiating these things you are the beginners so use this these ways the normal ways don't let you self involve in these things okay so once we'll study string in deep detail in our subsequent classes there these things will become more clear or in the class where we'll see scanner in more detail there also these these things may become very clear to you so let us once again check uh what will happen if we'll enter four or five names first second third fourth fifth look what happened this first goes to the first variable second automatically goes to the second ne next function third goes to the third and we have first second third is stored in three variables what happened to them they just they just go away they are nowhere they are nowhere okay they are not recorded anywhere so this this thing also happens hmm? with next function so don't confuse yourself be clear be clear means either you practice it or just use this way first name second name third name like this you can enter no problem so this is how we input single word in one variable one string variable so if we wish to input a complete line or a sentence in a single variable then how can we do that so let us now see that okay so for right now let us just make these things comment hmm? we don't need it now so from here to here things are now comment they are no no more there now let the variables be there no problem now enter your full name okay full name is what your complete name and now in place of next we'll be using a function named next line how simple it is next line is a function let us see uh let us see name one don't think this way that a single variable can hold a single word only no 
a string variable can hold a single word as well as a complete sentence and in this example in previous example we we uh, you saw that nm was holding only one name but in this example you will see the same nm one will have multiple words in it so let us save it and come back to the compiler compile this and then run it enter your full name any name sumit kumar katri any name look your name sumit kumar katri this whole sumit kumar katri a complete line goes to nm2 hmm. we can do something more also or let us do one thing uh let us uncomment this and let us use these statements enter your address that will go to nm2 using next line function enter your father's name nm3 it will contain this and of course your name nm1 then your address nm2 then your father's name nm3 let us make a single line comment i'm removing this line save it run it enter your full name Sumit Kumar Verma. Enter address. Main Road, Lohar Daga. Enter father's name. Sunil Kumar Verma. Now look at the output. And why is your name Sumit Kumar Verma? Your address Main Road, Lohar Daga. Your father's name Sunil Kumar Verma. Why? Because of this. your name then value of nm1 then explicitly i put a comma here just to produce a good output your address and then a space we can just remove this space no need of space here the value of nm and then your father's name and then value of nm3 so this is how we can input a complete line using that next line function look at the way next and the l capital okay so here we saw that uh, how we can input single word and how we can input a complete line and the same variables the same string variables were used for inputting a single word with the help of the next function and the same variables are now used to input a complete line using the next line function how simple this is so dear students uh, please practice them these things and uh, make yourself very clear don't ever i mean fear to experiment do whatever you want to do and that will let you learn a good pro programmer is one who experiments and observes tries to understand which tries to explore who try to explore so you also have to explore the things so now we have learned how we can input a single word or a line now we'll see how to input data in character variable character type data so again let us make these comments we have seen them and take it out of the block okay now we'll see how we can input our character data type character any variable in x y z 
three variables are making x y z why we are making just casually now enter a character character means any symbol any letter anything now how let us keep the first character in variable x x equals in dot next dot character at zero you might be wondering sir too lengthy yes too lengthy but no need to worry Let us execute it and then we'll try to understand. Enter a character seven. Seven is a number, but it's a character also. But let us enter a character like T, F, K, full stop, comma, anything. The value of X is T. The letter T is stored, is not stored there. Now run it again and see what will happen if we enter more characters. A, B, C, D, if you're entering. Then the value of x is a. What happened to the rest of the word uh, letters? It happened nothing. They just they were there, but they were not stored anywhere. They were in the uh, buffer. So this is how we can uh, store character. Actually, what is happening? You no, know, try to understand. We know that in dot next function is used to read a single word and character at is a function which reads character from any specific position this is zero indicates that take the character from the zeroth position what is zeroth position let me make this point clear here run this program enter character suppose i'm entering a word uh, like cat okay this is a word cat so c comes in the zeroth position a is in the first position t is in the second position so character at zero means c so the value of x is c so if we we'll make change here character at three then what will happen so first compile it run it and enter any subject uh, yeah uh, Do you see a duck? D zero one two three. Press enter. Now the x value is k. Why? There's a character at third position. It start numbering from zero. Zero one two three. So this is how this works. So normally it is kept zero to read the zero. So thank you, dear students, in this class.